there's a big male there. So I'm just heading towards the safari in Longleat. Got me trusty Bushman Rangers at on. Because that's how we roll when you're um, legit and professional. This is what you do. You put on the Bushman's hat because that's the only way to be. I take that hat off. No one takes me seriously. Put the hat on. Now I'm legit. A legit. Not really. Hat. Anybody. Hat on. Real deal. Be more wild, man. <laughs> I'm gonna drive around the safari and go and see what the animals are up to in the morning. It's only half nine. Should be the right one there, two day ticket, access all areas. <laughs> That's what she said. She didn't say that at all, but it's beautiful here. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, I'm gonna film the area as well, as much as I can. This place is gorgeous. When you're just driving into Longleat, you're hit with just like the, the sheer size of it. It's absolutely massive. I mean, the sheer size of Longleat, I don't know how big it is in total. I'll have to look after it, but it's huge. Just driving into the main bit, get to the ticket ticket office bit. And again, you still got another two or three minute drive through the estate to get to the car park. And then to get to the safari, you drive through all this bit here now, which you're seeing, which is just beautiful, dense woodland. Uh, both sides it's it's stunning and you think this is part of the safari so you're driving really slow the first time you come through because I came yesterday and this is my second day but it's not like this is just the, the road lead into the beginning of the safari so it's like a tension build up just look at the sheer scale of the woods you know it is stunning absolutely stunning Beautiful, beautiful place. So inside the safari, they have got uh, monkeys, deer, elephants, rhinos, and then obviously the carnivore, so the lions, the tigers, the cheetahs, the wolves, and there are some wolf pups that have recently been born again. Um, there's many different types of animals here. There are only a couple that are destructive, apparently. The deers will, will kick the car, potentially. And the monkeys, 100% will damage the car. It's even got a warning sign saying, <laughs> come here and your car will be destroyed. The size of it is huge. Don't know who mows the lawn. Definitely not going to be able to do it with a push along fly mode. There's loads of sheep here as well, herd animals you can see here grazing. So, obviously, that's how they manage the grass and pasture fully through um, pasture, pasta, <laughs> pasture through the um, animals grazing. There you go, got some cows, I think, on the left now. We've gone through sheep and lambs. My girlfriend at the moment is currently doing the carnivore feeding VIP experience. So she's going around feeding the lions, the tigers, cheetahs, wolves. And you get pulled along in like a meat wagon. And you're chucking out meat to the animals. So while she's doing that, I'm going to do this bit of safari. But that's going to be hopefully be a really good experience for her. I really hope it is anyway. Costs a lot of money. And she loves like a big cat. She loves tigers. So I'm really hoping it's what she's been waiting for. Really am. I'm just going past the massive buildings where it's for the land development and gardeners and stuff, people look after the land. They've got their own sort of building. Ass. Yeah. Some kooks, um, jackdaws, crows everywhere. Um, 
what should we see? Can't know it through, it's Jay's we'll see. Uh, robins, the other day I saw tons of robins at Monkey World. I went there two days ago. So to the right over here, if you look in the distance, is Long Lead Safari, the beginning. It's looking good, Safari. So once we pull up, I'll definitely stop the car so you get to see bits and bobs on the journey. Hopefully see some animals as well. That will be the plan. There's the gate. Coming into the main gate. Long lead safari. So this bit you can have the windows open, from what I remember. Wild animals. See what I mean by I think it's like Jurassic Park though. It is like Jurassic Park. This is cool. Got my latte. So we're in the Bongo Pass bit. They're just grazing at the moment. But I want to take you round further. Let's see if we can zoom in here. So the locator will be annoying. So this is Bongo and he's staring right at us at the moment. They're big old animals. Besides them. Big old boys, girls. Ah, oh, it's awesome. It's absolutely awesome here. Yeah. You know, rhinos, hippopotamuses and stuff. It's a bottom liar. African village. They've got a little restaurant there. But then I will be heading on. We'll show you the giraffes and whatever other animals they've got on this bit here. Yeah, but definitely go through the carnival a bit and stuff. And hopefully by then my partner will we'll finish her bit. And I'll be doing the safari again with her. There's a few more bits that we want to do. Now I want some munch. Sandwich quickly from the, the watering hole restaurant. Yeah, and a cup of tea. And we're heading now into the next part of the safari, which is going to be towards the giraffes, the zebras. You saw a clip earlier. 
all those. She had an interesting conversation with one of the animal keepers who drive around in the vehicles. He actually got the job through working through the shops without any qualifications and now they've trained him up over time. So that's quite impressive. Really nice guy. He works with the giraffes and zebras mainly. Uh, that was really cool insight. See him talk about that. Um, coming up to the ostriches now. I did see him earlier. I think he was the one that was rounding up the ostriches that had strayed off a bit. So I'm just going to pull over here. I thought you used to see something. We've got the ostriches, and we've also got the bison. Yeah, so we've got ostriches. There's one just in front of us here. And we've got two wildebeest. Just, yeah. I keep calling them bison. And, yeah, sausages, wildebeest. Those wildebeest yesterday would be a ranged off of the patch because they were, like they was um, winding up the baby zebra. Here we go, that the ostrich up to here. Coming up to the door. That car may be expecting food. Most animals will um, approach <laughs> people or vehicles and stuff if they think there's food involved. Food's probably the best way to domesticate or befriend anything. Yeah, cool. Didn't care off a minute. Yeah. You've all the beast. And then moving off. We're all grazing at the moment. We've got the nice water grass because we had a lot of rain yesterday. So the spring grass is probably full of energy right now, full of sugars, carbs that they want. And then she's just flapping their wings. This is one here. As you can see, just eating his food. Wilder beast. Get a few more shoes as we come around this bend. Let's start coming into view. There's one. It's got a nice shot of his backside. Look at the size of him. They eat their food. In their groups. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Zebras. Coming into view now, giraffes currently in their shelter. And obviously it's half ten, so it's feeding time. You pay two pound a pot and you get to feed the giraffes. They're up there. The zebra's just chilling. The baby one's right at the back. You did see it earlier in the shot I did. But we're going to leave this patch. We're going to head through. I can't remember what's over here. I think it's tapirs. To the left. There's one there. Just to the left of here. Some animals obviously get more interest than others. Can't really see it now, there's a couple of them laying down. Yeah. 
It's now complete for three years. Bats always turn left when leaving the cave. At birth, at birth a giant panda smaller than a mouse and weighs only 100 grams. And the blue whale's vessel so big a human could swim through it. Interesting. So if you wish, you can get out of the car in this bit. Go and see the tapirs. Tape here, tape her. Apparently they can spray you. Interesting. Interesting bits here. Yeah, flamingos just here. They're all standing up, probably enjoying the sun. We've got sun today for the first time in two or three days. The weather's been atrocious. These are Chilean flamingos. Probably not the best shot on my phone to see them, but they are there. Rhinos to the right, so we'll come back to them bits in a bit. They're the Chilean flamingos. We're gonna head up now. A bit more. Further up, I think, is where we head towards the uh, deers, the elephant enclosures up there. With one elephant that was rescued, she's not actually part of the tour. Um, Ah, look at these big boys. Cool, these are big. I say boys, they're probably girls as well, but... Size of these, I'm gonna bring them over to the right so you can see them. They are big. The size of them. Got some of their babies in between them. They all seem pretty chilled at the moment. Pretty chilled. Aha, this is the bit where we have to avoid Mr. Monkey drive through. I'm not going through there because my car is only two months old. And I don't want everything pulled off and ripped. Got vultures in here to the left. Here they are at the top. Just see them here. Get a bit of a zoom in. There they are. The vultures. Bit more there. It's more up there. Well, they're not swimming, so I guess that means nothing's dying just yet. <laughs> bit warning you read that sign there it does tell you that the monkeys will whip your car up so I'm gonna bypass that bit right we're heading up we still have windows open I think it's only the carnival bits where you have to shut your windows here we've got camels and I can't remember the elephant's name was it Anne yeah and the elephant hopefully might be to the left not quite sure they are I don't know what they are, but they're big. The size of the horns. Imagine that going up your backside if they're peed off with you. Yeah, they're big. Not sure what they're actually called. Thankful that carnivores because <laughs> they're big old ones. That's that spring grass. They're all munching up. Well, it's not even spring now, we're getting near to summer. Talk about this spring grass. It should be summer. If the rain bloody stops. Look 
looked at that for a view. Gorgeous. Look at the distance. All the hills. in the distance, you've got all the hills, ah oh, it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Herbivores are less exciting to people than to carnivores in general. They don't get the attention as much. But these camels are amazing. Just look at the thick fur on the backs. There's one of them, like right tramp. He had like fur hanging off, patches everywhere. It's a bit like when my beard grows. Amazing. Absolutely amazing creatures. And you think some people work here, this is their jobs, they just look after the animals, the land, make sure I think it's good. I bet these are the scruffy gits we saw yesterday. Look at that hair. Bloody awesome, but it's mangy. I don't know whether they're shedding, or if they shed more during summer off, it's just the way they are. That one looks like a Viking warrior, like a barbarian sort of clothing. Is that dreadlocks? It's got white man dreadlocks. <laughs> oh, look at him, he's got the right hump. Boom! They're quite rude, don't they? They all seem to be showing off their camel toes. I look over here. I might not go through this bit because apparently the, the deer's kick your car. But there's a deer bit you can go through here. I might be able to pass through that bit actually. Even just at a slow pace. Babies. Stunts. They're all pretty chill at the moment. Quite a lot here though. He's startled. Oh dear. Uh, we've got a male up here. It's breeding season, breeding season is coming to an end, but yeah, the baby's here. The question for the male's probably just dropped a bit. Probably still territorial. <laughs> Definitely I'd appreciate if I talk about venison. That's 
saying, like, if you want to experience, get close to nature as possible, like a zoo format about a cage, this is amazing. And this area here, you can feed the deer. So that's quite cool. That's something you want to do, feed the deer. It's a better view of the rhinos. They're all actually up and doing stuff today. Yesterday they was all sort of laying down. A bit later on in the day they were all just sort of standing, staring, but they're actually walking around there. Saw a brilliant um, documentary about the rhinos. They used a specialised camera called the Starlight camera. And the, the Starlight camera lights up uh, far better than any other form of camera. And they could actually see the rhinos in really good detail during the night. And they realised that actually once a year these rhinos meet up at this watering hole and they communicate um, quite verbally, but they're also very affectionate and loving. And there was one rhino that was trying to attract another rhino by giving her a horn. She's picking it up and it's almost like a mating gift. And the female, originally the dominant male was the one that wanted a female. He didn't get the female in the end because the female chose the male that was kinder and gave her the gift. So again, not all, not, it's not just humans that are um, materialistic. Uh, called again, is it the pelicans with the big mass? I've seen one, they eat a seagull before, oh, and a pigeon just literally scoop it up in its mouth and suffocate it. <laughs> I think the next destination is going to be heading towards the carnivores. So this will be exciting as we head to the carnivore bit. We are entering tiger territory. So, obvious things are, do not get out of the car. Do not open your windows, these animals can attack. They've just been fed, so they're probably hopefully a bit more tired. How do I know they've just been fed? Because my partner's doing the cat feeding program right now, the um, experience. And that finishes at half 11, and I think she's already done the lions and tigers. Yesterday when we came up here, we didn't see any tigers at all. And then they were all inside the enclosures. Nothing came out, so I'm hoping today might be different. It might actually be out and about. Hoping so. While well, doing the video as well, of course it's a bit late to say that now, but I'll put little timestamps with each section of the zoo so you can literally skip to the bits you want to see. Just to get a rough feel of the place and what's going on. This will never replace coming in. Definitely come here. I mean, I bought the two day ticket to come here. So you get two days to do the safari because you want to experience the day, you want to experience the night. You want to experience, not the night, but you want to experience the morning shift, <laughs> the um, afternoon, evening sort of one. Get the balance of it all. That's what you want to see, the balance of it all. There's a tiger just here actually. Right in front. There you go, the tiger just there. Looks like it's having a feed. A feed of some kind. That's how far away it is from me. No gates barriers blocking it so gives you a good idea just exactly what they're 
we're doing. One. Look at that. Chewing on something. I've always said Beamer Wild is about many, many things. It's not just bushcraft. Some people might think it's just a bushcraft channel or camping. It's far more, it's about animals, conservation. And I think zoos are a big part of that. A lot of people are against zoos, but I think if it weren't for the work that some of the zoos do, we would have a lot more um, extinct species in the world. I think a lot of zoos do an amazing job. In lion country now. A lot of them are in their dens or cages at the moment, separation bits. But there might be some walking around. Um, we'll keep an eye out. Hopefully, you might see some lions walking around us. This is the closest you'll get to a lion without a cage around you in the old of the UK, I think. Unless you happen to breed lions in your living room, which I don't recommend. Don't try that at home, kids. Yeah, they're all chewing on their bones and meat and stuff. They look happy, content with their food. Yeah. Having a good munch. The lions do come out around the car, they're not just behind this cage in the safari. Well, I originally thought they were when I first drove in, I was like, oh no, nah, they're all behind cages still, it's not really a safari. But that is not the case. When you get here, they are actually outside. They're literally, if you opened your window up, which we wouldn't recommend, you could touch it and lose your hand. They walk past the cars, um, which is pretty cool. So this is their, the area that they roam. There's one over there laying down, I think. Just keep an eye out, because they could be anywhere here, not just near the road. Doing their walks, passing through. That would be your spot one, just moving. Yeah, it's like, oh my god, wow, that's actually a lion walking next to me. <laughs> Amazing. The big cat feeding experience that I bought my girlfriend it was 350 pounds. You get to feed the lions, tigers, cheetahs, and the wolves, I believe. I'm not too sure. Um, what else? Aha. Uh -huh. There is a big male to my right eating his dinner. He's got his females with him. Look at that boy. Got such awesome like, appearances like the, the manes and stuff. There's another male over there. I think they're quite content right now, chewing on their bones, keeping their teeth in good check. There's a male just here. Awesome. They are stunning creatures. Look at the female coming over here. Amazing.
just walking around you. That is a pride of lions, literally next to your car. That is amazing. In the UK, a pride of lions walking around you. It's awesome. Really is awesome. We're leaving the lions now. I think there's another lion pride a bit further up actually. Two, there's two prides I think. So we're going to pass into the second one in a second. There's my partner there. She just went past. That car there with the Jeep. That's where my girlfriend is. She just messaged me saying she chucked the meat out to him. So all that food they're eating is what my girlfriend threw out. You can see him doing that there. So that's pretty cool. She's in the Jeep being driven around. Smiling, which is good. I hope she's enjoying it. Really cool. Really cool. I don't know whether he's. Yeah, they're rubbing each other. She's submitting, playing with him. How sweet. Maybe you'll see some cubs. That man's got a lot of women. Look at him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight females he's got. All chewing on their bones. There he is, the, that's the true love. Cheetahs. Yesterday they was all hiding in the high grass down the back on the other side and I couldn't see them. They're here. They're actually out uh, mid open. They're youngsters there as well. Looks like they're all still eating their food. Going inside, their little middle den. There's more than I thought actually, I thought there's only two, but there's quite a few there, there's four at least. <laughs> so that is the cheetahs. They are saying there's a spotted hyena. A little bit here. It's going to be pretty hard to see. And then the walls, hopefully we'll see the walls. There's one just there. Pugging its head out the top. And there's one walking through the back, just there. Here they come. Cool. Hyenas. Like there's food there with the got a pup, but there's hyenas there. That's cool. Looks like they're just um Oh, the hyena. 
is. Awesome. Awesome. That's cool, didn't see the eye units yesterday at all. We got pleased today, we did. The grey wolves, my favourites. We're headed into their territory now. Do love the wolves. Closure there. Not seen anything yet. Wolves in general are um, shy animals. Ah, oh, there's some meat here. There's a wolf over there. To our right. Got a wolf. Maybe they'll come back for that meat. So there, they've got a large leg of meat there. They know where it is, they're not silly. Aha! There's one here. Some more meat here. Nice bit of meat. There's a little dude here, look. Oh, he's leaving there. past the door. Awesome. And off he goes. Yeah, he's out of tune now. I absolutely love the wolves. There should be quite a few of them now, from what they're saying. With the pups and everything. top of that wood there the king of the castle and there's a pack just there amazing Ow! yeah they're all playing they're very playful this group yesterday they was all playing chase They're eating their meats and stuff. Oh, they're amazing. Wolves currently, well, they've made it extinct in the UK. But they're not on the endangered list anymore. Which is good. They were made to be the bad guy for many generations, you know. We look at all the nursery rhymes. It was always the big bad wolf with the three little pigs or the wolf with um, red widen hood. The wolf was always made out to be the baddie. And weirdly enough, the wolf's descendants end up becoming human's best friend. 
No he's him. But I've seen it. Oh, look at Dad. Where is me? He's off. Hello, bud. He's looking in the boot. He's looking in here. This one here. Looking under the, under the car. He's gone. There's the next one. There's a couple coming back again. That's a bit skinny for Dad. There's Bum going off. Is it mainly males? So get your eyes open on the right hand side of the boat. So somewhere on the right hand side of the boat is our hippo. Now the hippo can hold its breath for up to seven minutes. And they are, one of them is directly in front of us at the moment. So we are now hippo racing. Now we are now going to try and catch up with our hippos. To say they're one of the most dangerous animals here, doesn't seem like a sane thing to do, does it? <laughs> now it is unusual to see our hippos awake. They are nocturnal, and they do sleep for up to 18 hours a day. So they are up, they're restless, and they are very, very grumpy. But let's go and see and have a look at them. Now, despite hippos spending too much time in the water, hippos cannot swim. Hippos have got solid boat legs, which enable them to sink to the bottom of lakes and rivers, where they walk, run, and bounce along. And translated from ancient Greek, hippopotamus does actually mean river horse. So one of our hippos is coming up on the right-hand side of the boat. Please bring back all pots 
ships that I know are off the boat and not in the water to choke it hazard to the sea lions. We don't have a limited amount of fish on board and a limited time to feed. So it is first come, first served, so if you wish to feed the sea lions, go and see me now, please. And if you have changed, that would be appreciated. safari drive around just a little overview it's going to be links down to the Longleat website I want to put timestamps so you can see the different sections skip to them just gives you a rough idea of what to expect before you come here and reasons why you should come here it's amazing um, my partner said the experience was phenomenal it's worth doing probably stick some links into the experiences you can do so yeah thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and stay well